What is the hardest job in the world? Well, I think that if it's done right, and unfortunately it is so often not done right, but if it's done right, the hardest job in the world is raising children. There is a place here on the Gulf Coast with an unlikely name that helps. Walk through the doors of the 40 Carats Family Center and you'll find yourself in the world of untapped potential, busy little people filled with energy and joy of youth, and parents filled with, well, lots of questions. It's a really hard job. Co-founder Betsy Kane Hartnett knows it well. I have three children, I have a master's degree in early childhood education, and I was brought to my knees by motherhood. Absolutely. People thought I knew everything. While knowledge is good, parents may quickly learn it's not always enough. That's where a place like 40 Carrots can make a difference. It's a nonprofit organization focused on improving the lives of children by strengthening the relationship between children and parents. All learning happens within the context of relationship. It's the heart of everything. 40 Carats shares advice, skills, and a healthy dose of support for parents during the first five formative years of a child's life. They do offer a preschool and a range of classes here, but it's really what they do outside of these walls that is making the impact. Every week, a van stuffed with toys and good intentions finds its way to neighborhood libraries, and the fun begins. Good morning, how are you? Partners in Play is a chance for parents to share playtime with their little ones while they connect with other parents and they get trusted advice and support from trained parenting educators. And you may see more clinginess, you may see a change in appetite, you may see a change in sleep. You know, it's funny that you say that. In the it's kind of like having someone to bounce ideas off, um, to brainstorm. Uh, many parents come with a question about child development or they think their child is doing something that is not normal and we do a lot of normalizing. Zubeda Mtatifikolo has been coming since daughter Caitlin was six months old. Mom says Caitlin was a more challenging baby than her older brother. Her temperament and sleep habits were different and Zubeda appreciated the insight she received here. Let's concentrate with the baby right now. What's going on? That was very important for me. Now, Caitlin is almost four, and her family is still benefiting from partners in play. How's the baby doing? Are you getting any sleep? Michelle Wilson wants to help her three-year-old daughter, Grace, cope with all the attention her new baby sister, Lillian, is getting. Learning more how to deal with the age gap and the behaviors that you don't really expect. And sometimes just being heard, being validated, goes a long way for an overwhelmed parent. And when you say, oh, you must be exhausted, then they, they feel the acceptance, and then and only then can you move to the next level um, to help them problem solve, well, what are you going to do about it? I'm hoping they'll grow up. <laughs> He will, he's gonna grow out of it at some point and it's gonna be so useful later. Yes. All this energy. They'll notice, well, my neighbor's kid is doing this, um, but my child, she doesn't seem to be ready for potty training or, or she doesn't listen or we try timeouts and they don't work. So really everything, um, but it comes down to, they wanna know, are they doing the right thing? You put your foot you can do in it. and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. And while there's a world of information in books and magazines and online, there's something about the connections and feedback in this casual circle of friends that, that just works. I think it is an advantage. It is a gift to parents to be able to process with others. It's a gift to parents to get trusted information. It's a gift to parents to have a relationship with someone who is not judging them 
and can be trusted to give them the information that they so deserve. It's a benefit. A benefit that makes for good beginnings and great communities. Bye. Thank Have you. a good week. We'll see you later.